Good morning, everybody. I'm off on an all day tour today. I'm being picked up at 8 a.m. We're off to the White Temple, the Blue Temple, the Long Neck Tribe, and then we're off to do the Golden Triangle, which is the point where three land borders all meet on the Mekong River, I believe. I'm really looking forward to this. It'll be really nice to see the most northern side of Thailand. So I've decided to wear my new t-shirt with my wrap skirts that I bought. Because we're doing temples this morning, you need to have your shoulders covered and something on that is below knee level. So underneath my wrap skirt. I've got a pair of cycle shorts so once we've finished with the temples I can take the skirt off and I've got shorts and a t-shirt on. I have also brought my rain poncho with me because right up here up in the north it rains a lot more than what it did down in the south and the islands. So I'm hoping that I've covered every eventuality. <laughs> Time to go down and meet my bus. Now we are going to uh, in the south of Shinrai, about 14 kilometers uh, to visit the White Temple first. Second is the Blue Temple. We will get lunch maybe approximately at noon. Can everyone have Thai food? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, how many vegetarian or vegans? Put your hands. No? Okay. Meat lover. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, easy. We have the McDonald's. Uh, KFC. <laughs> uh, no, not here today. Today we have the uh, Thai local foods. It's a Thai food buffet. It's all you can eat. And you're uh, in the afternoon. We are going to the Long Nick Village uh, tea plantation, Mesai Water Town, which is uh, two countries, Thailand and Myanmar. And uh, after that is the the Golden Triangle, which is the three countries, Thailand, Laos, Myanmar. Uh, Opium House and the last temple in Chiang San. Wow, nice stop. So everyone, what do you know about the white temple before? That's what? Just white. Yes. That's what I know. Yes. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. So the white temple uh, actually was founded in 1956, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, since uh, the, the local people who is, uh, is the national artist, he decided to rebuild uh, this temple in 1997. On that time, uh, like the 11th uh, year for uh, constructing the temple. It's the opening in uh, 2011, like official. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. I don't know if on the video it will pick it up, but in the light, the little mirrors that are all over it are glistening. The whole place is sparkling. It is so beautiful. Goodness me, the fish in the pond were amazing colours. Imagine here is like the hell, so the place to the heaven, hell and heaven here. What a beautiful pond. The trees here and underneath the walkways are all covered in little chimes, which are these. They get hung up at the White Temple, so I thought I would add mine. This is a little weird, I know, but these are the nicest toilets I've been in since I got to Thailand. They're all gold. <laughs> We had an hour at the White Temple, which was lovely. Didn't feel rushed at all. Uh, beautiful local temple, uh, rebuilt in the 2007 and uh, finished 2015. Everyone have look at the architect here, a lot of sculpture, uh, similar to the White Temple. Because uh, the artist who, who was a student at the White Temple before, he quit his job at the White Temple and come back to uh, uh, to his village to like the, to show like the, the skills. Uh, this temple is stunning. The architecture and everything, it's just beautiful. 
again, they've timed it just about right. Half an hour, just the perfect amount of time for the Blue Temple. Uh, so Black House is one of the strangest house ever in Tsinghua. Uh, wow, this is the Black House Museum and it's bizarre. This is the gentleman whose house it was. He died eight years ago and his son opened up the house to the public. As you walk in, there is a shrine to him. And right at the top here, there is a box. And in that box are his ashes. There are paintings all the way along in this house and next to each one there is a QR code. If you scan that, the picture comes to life on Instagram. There are 40 houses around here that you can go and look in. The carving on the outsides of them is just amazing. Hours and hours of work. Headed down for lunch now at a little restaurant. It's sweet or a bit sour. A complete feast. Uh, inside there are not only the Long Lake villagers, but also have the mixed few tribe people, as, uh, especially uh, like Aka, uh, Lizu, Lahu, uh, Mian Oya, who uh, migrated from Myanmar or Yunnan, uh, part of China. So this that we talked about just now. This is the the rings. <gasps> it's five kilograms. Two hands, two hands possible. <laughs> this is the uh, oh. like the rings that they should put on the neck. Gosh. So and then the when oh, oh yeah. Gosh, the heavy. Because the um, yeah when she 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 will start like five years on right oh. when she caught up in every year she gonna change the size of the rings. This is like the teenager, like the 24, 23, okay, okay. like the medium. Sure. You can see the skin here, right? Mm -hmm. So that proof may never take it off for a long time, except mm -hmm. uh, they want to change the rings, okay? And after that, that after they finish, uh, huh? put the ring out, it's gonna it's okay. be like here, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the neck, right? Yeah. But also the in the, together? like the knee as well. Wow. Yeah. There is no running water here, so they have to collect it from the creek. I wasn't buying anything. I'm now a proud owner of a handmade purse. The second mountain behind, uh -huh. Let, uh, start from the right to the left. Yeah. So have you seen something different on the mountains? Like the human face. <gasps> yes. Yeah, yes. like the foreheads, the nose, the yeah. mouth. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. oh, it's wow. like the, some, someone who uh, laying down, right? It does, yeah. yeah. It's called this mountain, the Doi Nang Non. Which is the this mountain uh, has 17 kilometers long from here to the border of Myanmar. 
And also there is the cave that the 13 boys uh, struck in the cave uh, five years ago. Oh, wow. So this mountain. Yeah. Long time. And then the, which is the imported uh, the tea from Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan, China. So the, the, there are two methods to pick up the tea by hand and uh, cutting with the matching. What is today? The first one is the Ruan Su Ulong tea. The first one is popular for the beginner who never tried tea before because uh, the tea is soft, light, and they're smooth. Yeah, smell. Every time before you drink, uh, smell the tea first. So if you finish, you can see the. Uh, you can put to the next. Okay. And the second one is the Jin Xian Oolong tea. Tea the number tea two. Mm, let you try. Give me your hand. So we look at this. And the last one is the, the Osmentas tea or the flower tea here. Oh dear. I didn't do well with the tea. It was very strong and very bitter as well. Didn't like it. So this uh, immigration opening in the morning 6.30 and also close in the 6.30 in the evening. After that you will see the, the friendship with the first friendship with between Thailand and Myanmar. So I have traveled from the most southerly point of Asia. I am now stood on the most northern point of Thailand. Ray-Ban sunglasses for 30 baht. I love these little covers over their scooters to protect from the rain and the sun. It's connected to Mekong River, the bigger one. This is Mekong. So there is Myanmar and the Laos order. Quite a few stairs today. Fabulous. This is truly spectacular, just beautiful. We've stopped at the House of Opium and we can either go in there or we can go to the Big Buddha. So I'm going to go to the Big Buddha because you've got to pay 50 baht to go in there. And I think I would prefer to see the Buddha than the Opian Museum. This is just magical. It really is. This is the last stop on the tour today. This pagoda, the top of it, you can see it's a different color. They had an earthquake here a few years back and the top fell, so they've replaced it. 